Let's not stand on ceremony here. I will show you where I have made my home while preparing to bring justice. Then I will break you. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gold Gaming, it's Bane here, I'm playing a very very old game, Commander Conquer Generals, I thought I would do a classic series, let me know if this is something you enjoy, this is just a tester for today, so if you like it, thumbs it up, and uh, give us some feedback in the comment section about whether you'd like to see more Commander Conquer Generals, today I'm going to be going through the Chinese campaign, I am going to be doing it on hard difficulty, because I am pretty good with Commander Conquer, I've played a lot of Commander Conquer, I've played every game, uh, we won't talk about four because I said that in my last Greetings, video. Comrade General. I am but Lin this Zhao, is a pretty good one. Intelligence officer. And uh, As we do you know why I like Commander Conquer? The world's leading nation, Just the difference it brings the glorious uh, to the real-time strategy. strategy. The people's army will not tire in our pursuit of the terrorist enemy. So uh, obviously, this is the campaign that we're playing today, focusing on China first. What a lovely little Chinese military parade, as you would. So many tanks. And I've got a lovely fresh cup of tea as well. Always got to have a good cup of tea when playing any strategy game. We are in position. Is it time? The package has been secured and will arrive as planned. Proceed with attack. Hold the cause! Attack! Oh my god. It's a terrorist attack. They're murdering everybody. They're murdering all the civilians. That's a truck with a big crate on it. Can anyone guess what's in there? I think you can. You should be able to guess what's in there, really. You know. Well, my god, they just nuked us. So that's a scary thought, you know. I hope it never happens that no terrorists ever actually get a nuclear weapon, because that is quite a scary thought, isn't it? So we're on to the game. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And of course, this is the first mission, so it should be pretty easy. Make them pay, General. Easy, peasy, peasy. Easy. I'm just in gas valves. Carbons approaching. All units, fire! Storage tanks sealed. Unit lost. Post them down. Blowing up my stuff. It's not very nice, is it? I'm just in gas valves. Right, we are moving. And of course, I'm going straight to action here. As it is the first mission, I'm going to flame them all. Unit lost. Flame tanks are obviously really good. A bit of a throwback. That's the only thing with generals, it's kind of a throwback to Red Alert in a lot of ways. So you just have to be aware of that. All I really want to do is uh, get into a nice bit of combat over here. I've got some tanks now. That's it, let's get onto this. They are most effective in large groups. Everything is most effective in large groups. So notice that in this first mission we haven't actually done anything really in terms of building multiple supplies. Because I just know for a fact that this mission is not going to be too hard. I have built some extra tanks. And obviously I am moving very, very quickly to get my units operational. Power's not really a concern at this point. What I do like to have is more buildings, if I can, in Commander Conquer. Uh, and multiple barracks. I need another digger for that, though. So. Uh, so let's get some rally points up. Of course, that's, that's one of the things I like about strategy games, is just, you know, getting the rally points going. Um, and obviously the games that let you uh, where possible, number your um, your buildings so you can actually take control of them really quickly as well. So let's get some more tanks on the way. Chinese, really good faction. 
very much horde style the gameplay, so lots of units, um, and if they're all together you get a horde bonus in this game, so it's quite handy to have. If you've never played Generals before actually, I really do recommend uh, playing Generals, really giving it a go, it's a fantastic game, uh, really great storyline as you're going to see from this Let's Play, uh, and I think you know, let us know if you want to see some of these older games played. I, you know, I was talking to to Go about this the other day, and I said, you know, do you think we should do a classic series? You know, a lot of YouTubers are doing, you know, quite modern games, uh, but a, a lot of indie games are pretty much older kind of style graphics as well, because they're indie games. So really, are you getting that much difference between a really old mainstream game and, and an indie game necessarily? You know, I think there's nothing wrong with showing casing some of the games that I've enjoyed throughout my time. Um, Upgrade complete. And you see what I've done here, I've actually control clicked and, and assigned my um, buildings over here. So, and typical kind of conquer style, the more buildings you have of a certain type, the quicker you can construct things. I think that's more than enough units for this first mission, so we're just going to rename that to control one. So this flame tank's being really brave. He's quite happy to uh, engage the enemy on his own. Forces back. A fire strike is on the way. Yeah. Fire strike, aka mix. I got wing inbound. I got the choir. We. I got wing attack. I got leader reporting. Target eliminated. So they are taken out, and the game, the game has a lot of nice cutscenes like that. Really. To, to show us. So. To deny the GLA control of our nuclear arsenal. Unit lost. What losses? I mean, there's any losses. What are you on about, mate? Oh, we're kind of running for flames, that's kind of bad, but. Right, we are moving. Moving volatiles. Right, we are moving. Let us get closer. Moving volatiles. GLA forces have the high ground. I'm over, Charlie. I'm trying. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm not really worried here because I'm just playing it through the game. I'm not really worried here about my losses. I'm trying to limit my losses. I'm just, just going to go full steam ahead. You know, perhaps I should have played them brutal. Tell me if you think I should have played them brutal, maybe, guys. You know. Also, you know, if you want to give me some feedback in the comments on how you fought mine and goals game when I fought, I did pretty well, but I was a bit out of practice. Um, to be fair, as he probably knows, I was taking it a little bit easier on him. I could have probably gone for a much earlier push, um, early game. So, oh no, I'm losing units. Never good. Congratulations, General. Of course, we've got another repair ability uh, now, so I can just quickly really, like, shut that down, repair my vehicles. And that's what I like about Generals as well, is that unique kind of special powers that you can get based on your Generals. And Zero Hour, which we were playing obviously the other day, we, um, you get a lot more variety in the Generals and the abilities they get. So, for example, the USA, they have a laser General, gives you laser tanks. But the downside, of course, is that um, you know if you're using laser tanks, I should use my tanks here because uh, I'm not really sure why I'm worried. Of course, it's just a computer game, but I don't want my poor men to get nuked. Poor conscripts. There you go. You have no longer got nuclear weapons, Mr. Terrorist. It's a really, really, really quick mission there. Let's try and get into mission two as quick as possible. Let's keep the momentum going. We're looking for fast and furious. What's our next mission? I can't remember actually the campaign that well. General, an active GLA cell has been unmasked in Hong Kong. Oh, I suspect Kong. the terrorists have targeted buildings in the commercial center. The cell must be crushed and its members eradicated. Strike hard, General, and without mercy. So, we're going to strike hard, strike fast. We've got now the Gatlin Tannic and the Tank Hunters opened. 
so really much with every kind of hockey game it's always based on your supply um, and you'll see a lot of professional gamers what they'll do is they'll string their buildings out to get to supply areas as quick as possible if they can't actually move uh, over there I mean throughout the quarter games I played I remember like siloing we used like uh, Tiberium silos and stuff like that to actually <laughs> spread out because they were cheap and expand your base influence and build territory uh, and then uh, they kind of brought in with the later games obviously you could actually set up in these kind of uh, base building areas you know forward supply bases forward operating bases which is very true to military kind of doctrine really you know um, so here you can see it's going to go terribly wrong for my Chinese forces there uh, moving across to deal with the stadium because there's a giant black box attached to the build uh, the bridge there it looks like a Lego brick They will regret this. They will. General, Absolutely. The terrorists have taken over the convention center. You are going to have to destroy it and the attached parking structures to stop um, the terrorists. Apparently, you have threat. brought lots of sand to make Middle Eastern buildings in China. Makes sense to you? That makes sense to me. The bridge is gone! General, that's all that's left of the China assault force. We need to build a command center and a radar dish. So let's get a command center up. Let's get some power up because that's always going to be necessary. And let's get our troops. And this is the idea of annoying thing about generals is, is not accidentally selecting uh, your troops, such as your diggers here, which are actually needed to actually build. So I always like to go for veterinary units over things like artillery generally, um, if I can, and repairs because I just find that more useful than a one-off artillery strike. Again, if you disagree with my choices uh, during this, just let me know guys. I'm really, really keen to hear your kind of advice and guidance on how you feel I'm playing this game. I know Goal likes a lot of feedback from you guys on his channel, so you know I keep going to have to keep pushing it. Keeps telling me you must push for comments and China how we can fair. do better, China better videos, better fair. games. Uh, mic quality is something that we've talked about Which recently. My mic is nowhere near as good as his, uh, so that's obviously an issue that we would like to resolve in the future. So I'm going to be looking at saving up for possibly a better mic, so you guys can hear me a little bit better because I sound really deep and crackly in a lot of my videos. So it will look real Let's nice when it's done. That is a problem, of course. So we need a radar, there comes up our radar now. Radar is obviously for China, uh, built into your main base. Uh, USA has them automatically, uh, and um, ironically, for the uh, GLA, you have a radar van. Very uh, in style with their guerrilla tactics. And what I do like about China is you have the ability to mine around your buildings, so that's quite handy. So what I do like to have in this mission actually is flame tanks as well as a mixture of Gatlins as well to push up the field quite quickly. I mean, don't get me wrong, Battlemaster tanks are good for anti-armor work, uh, but generally, if you've got um, Gatling and Flame tanks, you can take things out pretty easily anyway, so no real need to uh, overextend. What I haven't built, actually, is my barracks. Clearly, talking too much and forgetting about what I actually need to build. Um, the GLA have sent in their toxin factors. They fire a toxic green ooze. Keep your infantry away from them and use your tanks to deal with this new threat. Toxic tractors. And of course, what they won't tell you is that a lot of the GLA infantry will set up in the buildings as well, so hence why we are building certain tanks over others. So, you know, and this is, we talk about this quite a lot, quite a lot whether base defences are a must. It depends on the base defence, obviously. Uh, There's a train coming! quite nice to have base defences, but necessary. Mm. Oh look, we more men. Thank you Mr. Choo Choo Drain. And they're veterans as well. Yay. Like the Veteran troops. Right yes, so I'm not going to take my men out yet. Moment. What I'm going to do is maybe take out this small little bad. force here, try and get rid of these toxic tractors. Must move my men because there's a toxic tractor coming, and that would be bad. 
So we've got to deal with that Toxin Tractor facility pretty quickly. Because uh, it is going to be very, 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 very annoying if we don't. Oh, saving my repair there, despite having a damaged flame tank. Until we get a little bit closer to the Toxin facility. General, Toxin base in sight. Of course it is. So he's only a second mission, so it's easy. Right, we are moving. Even on hard. You missed. Let us get closer. What you don't want to do is you stay in the toxins too much here. Yeah? And that was the end of the toxin facility. Nice and easy. You've destroyed the toxin base. Now they shouldn't be able to build any more toxin tractors. I like the big toxin. Of course they won't be able to. Which is good for me. And my health. So again, yeah, really nice about China is the Horde facilities. So we're going to get up some more barracks here. Again, this is just early missions, so there's no need to overcomplicate things. That's a good choice. We are the Red Guard. We stand together. So, and that's what I've heard about people here, you know, China are known for their uh, infantry. You do have to watch out for these guys here, the terrorists, because uh, they are quite nasty. The suicide bombers, they will obviously kill your butt. But no, I really like conscripts, uh, and, and I like the Chinese infantry. I think they're not bad. Obviously, I love Rangers from the US, don't get me wrong. But. Carrying um, orders. A lot of versatility in this. Uh, this could be problematic now because we have uh, cars. I'm probably going to lose this flame. Oh no, got gone. Possibly was going to lose the flame tank then. Didn't quite happen. That's not bad. Moving to new area. Lots of bad guys around. Unit lost. Congratulations, Jeff. You have been promoted. Yes, General. Oh, that's annoying. Didn't mean to do that. I think what's really important here. You look lost. And this is a really nice ability for flame tanks. Keep the cylinders oil. Fighting for the red army. And uh, the center is obviously just producing more and more and more and more bad guys, as well as a bomb car there. Couldn't quite react to that one quick enough. We've got men running out of the building despite the building being completely demolished. Ah, oh, generals, how you troll me. So I think we need to bring in some reinforcements here, thankfully. Quite a lot of stuff over here. Take some of these bases out here. Right, we stemmed the tide so far, even on brood, well, on hard, sorry. Need to try and get rid of this uh, vehicle production facility here. Start laying into that. Unit <laughs> lost. And that's why you don't mess with <laughs> technical sometimes. As in back of base, we have quite a large amount of vehicles stacked up, so we should be fine. We're just going to set the rally point here now. Seems 
because we are taking that vehicle factory. Got to repair up, so let's get that repaired. Uh, one more building left. I've completely missed this one over here. That's probably where the soldiers are coming from, to be fair. And nearly there. Nice and quickly through. Oh, bomb car, bomb car, bomb car. There we go. Take him down. And a victory again for the Chinese. So this is a nice, quick, fast, fun, friendly game. Good work, General. For today, we're going to do one more mission if we can. Before we move on and finish the video. We can say we lost 36 units there. Units grade 30. Also, that never oh, that makes much sense to me. But there we go. Um... So guys, I think that's all we have time for in this first episode. Just let me know if you like Old School Call. Cool. We'll come back to it very soon if you do. I will put two episodes up with Generals anyway because I've recorded two. Let me know if you want more. See you soon, guys.